This first video is just a quick one to show how easy it is to set up your own website. Now, you want to start off at the registration page. Yours may look slightly different to this. It may be a different town at the top, for instance. Um, but broadly speaking, the layout will be the same. And what you need to do to start off with is come up with a username for yourself and then your email. So here I'll just put in a, a dummy one to show how it works. You then it asks whether you want a website or just a username or well, for this registration we obviously want a website. So we click on next. It takes us through to the next page which is automatically use your username as the name of your website. You can change that if you want to to give it a different name but for this one I'll leave it in place and then a site title. So that's what will appear at the top of your website when it actually launches. So I'll just call this my demo website. Next question, it asks you very quickly if you want it to be indexed by search engines. What that means is do you want Google and Bing and so on to be able to find your website? So you probably do. And then the final bit is you select between a basic website, which is just a very simple one for a sole trader or whomever, um, or a more complicated and full e-commerce website. So the e-commerce website has a shop functionality built into it already. So uh, broadly speaking, within a couple of minutes, you launch one of these, you can add your products, and um, within an hour or so, you could be selling online. So if you want to do that, that's the one you want. If you want something simple, just to sort of demonstrate your wares or your products or whatever, then um, pick that one. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just pick this. I'll just highlight it like that and then click sign up underneath. And what will happen then is the website will be built for me automatically. Um, and then it will go to the next page, which just says, congratulations, your new website is ready. There's your username. Remember this password. Um, probably best to highlight it and copy it um, and use it in the future. You can change it if you go into the admin area, um, but remember it anyway, albeit if you do forget it, obviously it can be recovered via your um, email. But for now, what we're going to do is have a look at our freshly made hot off the press website by clicking on the visit on your site button there, and here it is. It opens up for us. So if I scroll through this, you'll see this is all demonstration stuff that's just been put in ready for us to change. Um, we've got a number of different pages. So the home page, we've got a shop page here, um, which just contains one blank, or sorry, one demonstration product, a pair of sunglasses. We've got a car to check out. My account is for people, obviously, to create accounts with you when they, when they shop with you. So pretty much ready to go on this. All you need to do, obviously, is then edit the content within it to put your own photographs, text, etc. in. The way to do that is click on one of the web creator buttons, one at the top here, the one here, and what will then happen is the web creator editing system will load automatically. Um, now this basically is the way that you edit your entire website very simply and straightforwardly. For this video, what I would suggest that you do is, as it says here, welcome, it looks like you've been a first time user to Builder, would you like to take a tour? So if you click on yes, what it will then do is it will take you through a quick tour of how Web Creator actually works. And that's well worth watching that or going through the slides one by one um, to get a hang of how it works. And alternatively, if you did want to look for extra help at the top here, Click on the question mark and there's a video as well. If you click on there, an in-depth video which shows you how to use the different functions. But effectively, all you're doing is then editing your content by clicking on it, like an example here, and then putting in your own text and wording, um, your own photos, that kind of thing. So that's it, hope that was simple. Um, when you want to finish, click done, publish your changes, and any changes you've made will show. Um, and that's it. Hope the video was simple and straightforward. Enjoy setting up your first website. Thank you.